too long ago, I showed off my newly restored Lionel Thomas and James sets. This was a big project that took me roughly two months and cost me about $200. Among the many things that I bought for the project like wheels and tracks, there was one thing I didn't show you. When I purchased the two troublesome trucks, they also came with this second James locomotive. I didn't bring it up in the video as it wasn't relevant. The model was faded all over, it ran poorly, and it didn't come with a tender. But considering I got this and the trucks for about $40, I'm not complaining. I didn't really have a use for a second James model, especially when mine looked and ran better. I was thinking about what I could do with it, and then I thought about repainting it. I'd seen a lot of videos of people repainting their old Thomas models, so I thought I'd give it a try with James. And what better to paint him in than his original Railway Series colors? Before anything, I needed to gather supplies. I bought a can of black spray paint, masking tape, and assorted paint sharpies, all of which can be found at Walmart. The paint sharpies will help me apply the lining detail after I paint the model black. Now it was time to paint. I unscrewed the model separating the cab and the boiler. I wrapped the dome in tape to avoid losing its color, and then took the pieces outside and began painting. This is my first time properly spray painting, so I tried to copy the techniques I've seen other people use to get the best results. Overall, it didn't look bad. There are a few spots that looked a little drippy, but I was pretty happy with the end result. After letting it dry for an hour, I brought it inside and added the detail. The red Sharpie was used the most here, painting the lining on the boiler and the cab. I used the black to cover any spots I didn't get with the spray paint and the yellow to touch up the dome and line the cab windows. And after letting it dry one more time, James was finished. I was really impressed with how this came out. I was going to stop here, but James looked so nice I thought he should have a tender. Luckily, the same person was selling the tender along with a damaged Thomas and Clarabelle. Since I was already in the mood, I figured I would repaint all the models. Thomas in his LDS delivery from The Adventure Begins and Clarabelle to resemble the red branch line coaches. I bought the necessary spray paint and hit the ground running when the models arrived. Starting with James's tender, I took it apart and taped off its sides and numbers. I then moved outside to paint it black and let it dry. Back inside, I painted the lining around the tender and colored in the area around the number five. And with that, Origins James was now complete. Now on to Thomas, who was a bit more complicated. Like James, I unscrewed the body, taped off certain spots, and moved outside to begin painting. Thomas is supposed to be a teal green, but the color I used, satin hunter green, was a bit darker than I was expecting. It doesn't look terrible, and I think it's still recognizable as the LBSC Thomas. While that was drying, I took the wheels off and painted them. The wheels were tricky to do, as I was working with a smaller space and I didn't want to get paint on the flanges. When those dried, I began to do the lining, almost all of which was white, even around the wheels. As you can see, there were a few times where my hand slipped, which made it look a little sloppy. The same thing happened while painting the James model, but I simply painted over those mistakes with the black Sharpie. The last thing I needed to do was add the lettering to his sides. I initially intended to create a stencil to paint it on, but that proved to be too difficult, so I wrote it myself. The lettering is probably what I'm least happy about. My handwriting isn't the best, so the lettering looks pretty messy. I may redo it in the future, but for now, it will remain. One reassembly later, and the LBSC Thomas was finished. And now for the simplest of the repaints, turning Clarabelle into a red branch line coach. Since this requires no extra detailing, all I had to do was paint the body red and the roof black, and there we go, a red branch line coach. This originally started as a simple project, which quickly escalated in size. My initial budget for painting James was about $20, and when I started adding the other models and materials, that increased to about $80. Significantly less than what I spent on my restoration project, but still more than I was expecting. Ultimately, I'm pretty happy with how these paint jobs turned out. Though a little messy in places, the models don't look half bad considering this was my first time painting like this. According to the seller, these models have been sitting in storage for about 15 years, so I'm glad that I was able to put them to some good use. I would definitely like to try and do more projects like this in the future, but for now, this is where I'll end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed.